Hello, it's Ronnie, and today I am here to teach you about the menus feature. So if you're unfamiliar with menus in plan to eat you can use menus as saved meal plans that you can then reuse again in the future. So there are two ways to create menus. You can either create new menus in our menu editor feature, or you can save previous meal plans and use them again as menus. So menus really cut down on the amount of time that you can spend meal planning because I'll show you this here in a second. The amount of time that it takes you to plan a menu is the exact same amount of time that it takes you to plan a single recipe. And it can be an entire meal plan for as many days and as many meal times as you would like to include in that menu. So over here on the desktop, the menus button lives over here on the right side. If you click on that, you're just gonna open your menus bar. Here at the top, you have the option to filter your menus. So once you've created a bunch of different menus, you can then use a keyword search in here to either search for the title of the menu or any tags that you'll add to that menu. You can see I have a couple menus saved already. You can also see that I have the option to view friends menus here and PTE menus, which are menus that are saved from previous cooking challenges that Planty hosted. So if you wanna just, you know, play around with some different recipes that are already saved into menus, you can go there and look for those as well. All right, so in order to create a new menu in the menu editor, you're just gonna click on this new menu option here with the plus sign. It's gonna take you into the menu editor and you can tell you're in the menu editor because this darker blue bar comes up at the top. It also says edit menu over here. And this is where you're gonna rename your menu. So I'm gonna do this, hit rename. Here you also have the option for your trash can. So if you ever wanna delete a menu, you can find it here in the editor. It's gonna start counting how many items and how many days to keep track of those things for us. There's a lock icon here, which will allow you to make your menu private. So if there's anything in this menu, such as you know personal recipes that you don't wanna share with your friends in Plan to Eat, you can always use the lock icon and then make it a private menu. You also have the option to add tags to your menus. So like I said, you can use the filtering options over here in the menu sidebar to find recipes that have specific tags. So if you start to create a lot of different menus, I would recommend adding tags to them so that you can find them if they're based off of, you know, special occasion or maybe just budget friendly, allergen friendly, all of the things that you would normally use tags for in recipes, you can use on your menus as well. All right, and one thing that I also wanna note here is that as you're making changes to your menus, there's no save button that you need to press. So you can just add recipes here, you can update their serving sizes, you can move them around, and all of those changes are just saving in real time as you're making them. So you don't have to press save when you're finished with your menu, you can just hit the exit button over here and everything's gonna save as you do it. All right, so I'm just gonna start dragging things over here into the menu editor, creating a meal plan for myself. An important thing to note is that the menus works in days. So it starts at day one and ends on day 31. This is not specific days of the week. This is not specific days of a month. The day one can be whichever day you want to plan that on. So if you you know, have a menu that you always want to have start on a Thursday, you don't need to start planning your items on day four. You still want to start at day one. And then I'll show you here in a second when you drag and drop this to your planner, you can pick any day of the week that you want this menu to start on. All right, so I'm gonna say this menu is done. I'm gonna hit the exit button over here. And now I'm just going to drag it onto my planner with this little handle icon. And like I said, see, you can see that it's allowing me to choose any day of the week that I wanna add this to. And then when I hit confirm, it adds all those items to my meal planner. And now a meal plan is just finished and created for me. So like I said, adding a menu to your meal planner is just as easy as adding a single recipe. So it can really cut down on the amount of time that you are meal planning. All right, and now I wanna show you how to create a menu from a meal plan that is already on your planner. So I have this three day meal plan that I wanna save. And the way to save this once it's already on your meal plan is to use the edit plan options. So you can click on this edit plan button here and you know adjust the dates and select your action, things like that. You can also just click and drag on the multiple days that you want to choose and it's gonna bring up your edit plan options. So I'm gonna select my action to save a menu and then I'm gonna rename this one 
hit confirm, and now it's gonna bring me right into the menu editor. So if there's anything I want to do to adjust this menu right now, I can do that. So if I wanted to add some tags here, I could do that. Um, and it just, you can see that they come up there in the header and you can also see that those come over here on the sidebar. So now I can exit. I have that menu saved over here that I could replan again in the future if I wanted to. So let's move on over to the app and I'll show you how menus works over there too. All right, so I have my app open to the planner. You can see that these items that we already added from our other menus are here on the meal plan already. So to access the menus within the app, you're gonna see on the left side, there's menus with a little book next to it. Now you can see that those other menus that I created are also here in the list already. If I wanna just view one of these menus, all I need to do is tap on it. And then I can get a preview of what is in this menu and all of the items in here. And then I also have the option to edit, which is in the upper right hand corner. So if I hit edit, I can come in here and I can make changes to any of these things. I can rename it at the top. I can add tags here. Um, and then you can hit done when you're finished with that. So if I go back, you'll also see that there's a plus sign with a new menu option here as well. So I can hit that. And it's just gonna give me this blank list of days where I can use the plus icon to plan a recipe and I can select as many recipes again as I want to add them to these different days. I can also plan an individual ingredient. Oops. Bananas for breakfast. You can see those things on there. So very simple, exactly the same way as you're gonna do it on the website, just in the mobile format. And we can update this as well. Perfect. So now we have this new menu. And when I want to actually plan this new menu, you can see that at the bottom there is a plan menu button. So all I needed to do is tap on that. It's gonna ask me which day I want the menu to start on. So it doesn't give you a range of dates to plan the menu on. It just asks you which day you want the menu to start on. I'm gonna choose sometime next week. I'm gonna add it there and then it automatically brings me to those days in the meal plan so that I can see what this looks like. I can scroll back through and see all the other things that I have added here. And that's how menus works on the app. So if you have questions about how the menus feature works, please email us at help at planteat.com. I will also have links to the help articles for both the website and the app related to the menus in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.